Okay, well you probably worked out by now that this channel is actually dedicated to uh, diesel fuel and transmissions and today we're going to have a look at the uh, nylon, the plastic piping, uh, compression fittings and how to repair fuel lines. You're going to see me using a naked flame on a fuel line. For some people with common sense will obviously know this is not the right thing to do. However, don't use a naked flame on fuel lines that have fuel in them. Drain your fuels from your lines and your components if you are going to do repairs and if it's petrol then you'll have to be, take more caution, uh, possibly take the unions off and fix the piping away from the vehicle first and then refix the whole lot together. Just think safety and use common sense. Thermoplastic tubing has been used a long time in diesel systems. 200 TDI pump here and on this part here is for the air pressure turbo boost which goes to the turbo via this union. You can see it just here. Okay, the leak back usually is the same stuff. However, you can get piping which is flexible which doesn't fall to bits after a while. Easy to fit and there's hardly any pressure in here whatsoever. All right, so it's just a matter of slipping them on the union and away you go. Thermoplastic tubing, as this is called, or nylon tubing, is uh, quite susceptible to heat and you can see that I've warmed it up to uh, get the fitting I've pushed it on. Now that is actually a diesel tight seal. So let's have a look at diesel pump here with a union and I've got a single tail banjo. I'll bring it a bit closer, you can see the tail end. This is a one way valve for um, diesel systems as well. You can use it with veg oil and I did with the 12 mil piping at some point on a modification. To remove the tubing you can use a, a sharp knife and notice I'm pushing this away from my hand so I'm not cutting myself just in case it slips but it's a matter of just putting a split in it and then just twisting it to remove it from the tail. Let's have a look at the piping. It needs to be cut square first of all and I'm using a pair of shears and uh, I'll have a banjo which is a single tail banjo and uh, that won't be able to be just pushed on so what I'm going to use is a little bit of heat here with a lighter just warming the plastic through and it doesn't take much you could use boiling water however I've chosen to use a lighter here okay it's a bit of a struggle um, you apply some heat just enough if you put too much on it it will destroy the piping okay you can see how far that's gone on then just a little bit more heat and she's home there you go sealed tail and pipe union this is actually air brake tubing however the standard that's on here also is recommended for fuels diesel and petrol size of this tubing is 10 millimeters by one millimeter which means the outer diameter is 10 millimeters and the wall thickness is one millimeter. This tubing comes in a variety of sizes, different wall thicknesses and um, outer diameter sizes, imperial and metric. So if you're looking for fuel piping you want to get it so it's either DIN 73378 or DIN 74324. Now these are air pressure and fuel standard piping. Using something like this, you may as well be pissing in the wind because it's not a good thing and you need a clean cut so you can fit compression fittings and snapping fittings tidily. What I've got here is a pair of shears. There's varying types. Now this comes with a few spares in the hilt and these blades are very sharp. There are a few different types on the market. Well, this one happens to be made by Bluepoint which is a subsidiary of snap-on tools. Not only the blades are interchangeable but you also have an anvil where the blade lands on too that is also interchangeable which is handy to know. I generally like to store them in a locked position you never know if the wife gets hold of those and works out how to open it what might happen to me. The, uh, the hammer action on this is not brilliant but it does cut very cleanly and this is what you need when you're using tubing and using snapping fittings or compression fittings you need a nice clean cut. These also do rubber hoses 
including the cooling system hoses. Nice, clean cut. Along with a massive array of air fittings and fittings that you can actually use for diesel pipes is the compression fitting. Compared to the uh, push fit or quick fit fitting, which you push in, we're going to discuss this at a later date. This is actually a mechanical fitting. You need to screw it together. It hold, clamps the pipe onto the union here. Use a couple of spanners to fit it. And it, this is a very good way of repairing pipes either on the go or if you're doing a modification. The secret to these is that you need a ferrule inside the pipe tubing, anything from 6mm upwards. So when the olive clamps down onto the piping, it will actually work properly, otherwise they fail. Alright, with these you nip them up and uh, away you go. You have a uh, air type or a diesel type, or should I say fluid type fitting. You can use them on steel tubing as well, they work quite well. Now if this is done properly, that is what it should look like on the end. So you have your ferrule on the inside of the piping. This will grip up and it will work properly. This is a professional way of doing it. You'll see this also on something like a lift pump. You have your piping through a union and you can see the ferrule there and the olive. Now this is very important. Anything from 6mm upwards on the piping, you need to put a ferrule inside, so consider that if you're using mechanical fittings. Okay, well there's the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and there'll be more on fittings later on.